next thing is uh, a safe environment. We really do create a safe environment. Uh, we play, we kid, we josh, we do all that kind of stuff. But in the, in the end, it's really, I, I will train you and I've trained my entire staff in what I call solution feedback, which is if you can't fix something, you can't give me the fix, you can't improve it, you can't pitch me a joke or pitch me a, chat, a tag, don't talk. <laughs> I don't want your opinion of, oh, that joke didn't work. You need to take it out. We already know that. We already listened to the roar of silence. <laughs> no need some person going, oh, that didn't work. Oh, we, we, thank you. So I get rid of all that. Okay, if you can give me a fix, if you can improve something and make it better, you get to talk. And that's for me and my staff. And they've been trained in this. And then I'm going to train you in that as well. So when you talk to the students, they don't get defensive because if you fix somebody's show or joke and they go, oh, you're right, that's much better. Thank you. That's what we're looking for is that response from other people because now we're doing it. comes from positive psychology. It's a whole branch of psychology that where they, I don't want to hear about your problems. We want to create solutions for you. And then I just took all that and put it into teaching comedy. Uh, if we do fix this, if your teachers do fix this for you, it will be accompanied with an explanation of the technique. Not just, oh, do it this way, it's better. Oh, do it this way, and here's the reason I'm having you do it this other way. Okay, and it's really important because part of this is teaching. I want to set you free from me. If you can do the, th the same skills that I can do and my students can do and you know what they are, then you can go out and practice them in your writing and when you get out there and get on stage. Again, no substitute for stage time. The question is, do you want to do your stage time practicing bad technique or getting up there and facing all that anxiety and stuff and practicing good technique and good habits? Uh, I see people in the open mics and I'll go, wow, I can see the things are doing wrong. And uh, five years later, I'll go to that open mic, drop by, same guys there, doing the same mistake, and they're stuck. And I could straighten that out in, in, a, in a very short period of time because it's just a technique. It's something they can learn and practice. They're just practicing the wrong thing, and they've gotten really good at it. So anyway, uh, this isn't just for comedians. This is uh, say speakers and writers, lawyers, sales. Um, if, you know, what's interesting about doing, once you do stand-up comedy, and you go out and, and you face that dragon, you face that, and you go out and make a bunch of strangers laugh, not your friends, a bunch of strangers laugh. And you do that successfully, everything else in the world is just less scary.